Well, due to the mass hysteria that has been around us and all the people panicking and stuff, I figured it would be beneficial to read from Matthew uh, chapter 6, verse 25 through... <clears throat> Let's just take a look. 25 to 34. I'll just set it up here on my handy stand here real quickly. There we go. And so basically, Jesus says... Therefore, I tell you, do not worry about your life, what you will eat, or what you will drink, or what about your body, what you will wear. Is life not more important than food, and the body more than clothes? Look at the birds of the air. They do not sow, or reap, or store away in barns, and yet your heavenly Father feeds them. Are you not much more valuable than they? Can any of you, one of you, by worrying, add a single hour to his to your life. And why do you worry about clothes? See how the flowers of the field grow. They do not labor or spin, yet I tell you, not even Solomon in all of his splendor was clothed like one of these. If that is how God clothes the grass of the field, which is here today and gone tomorrow, and thrown into the fire, will he not much more clothe you, O you of little faith? So do not worry, saying, What shall we eat, or what shall we drink, or what shall we wear? For the pagans run after these things, and your heavenly Father knows you need them. But seek first his kingdom and his righteousness, and all these things will be given to you as well. Therefore, do not worry about tomorrow, for tomorrow will worry about itself. Each day has enough trouble of its own. I find it very fascinating. Jesus says, uh, For pagans run after all these things, but your heavenly Father knows you need them. You know, We've seen around here, and like in many other places, people running like crazy, crazy, crazy masses of people just going in to buy out all the toilet paper and hand sanitizer and crap like that. And not to say that it's not important stuff, but, you know, Jesus is saying the pagan world runs after these kind of things. You know, we trust God to provide what we need, and we don't have to live and operate in fear. The world people runs after things and they want to make sure that they can get to it before anybody else does. You know, that's not the way we operate as Christians. That's not the way we should operate. And if somebody is a Christian and they're running like that to get toilet paper, they need to reread this passage in scripture because it says, for your father knows what you need God knows you need toilet paper to wipe your butt. Come on. And God knows that we need such things. You know, if God, if Jesus told us not to worry about food or clothing or stuff like that, surely, surely toilet paper falls into that category of things he provides too. But, you know, we see, we begin to see in our times and our day <clears throat> where this principle is actually being driven home. We're seeing this play out. We're seeing how indeed the pagan world who doesn't know God runs after such things. We see what kind of panic this has caused and we see how there is a distinction between how those who don't know the Lord versus those who trust him to provide will live their lives. And you know, we have no reason to fear. We have no reason to fear. Our days are in God's hands. Our lives are in God's hands. He'll provide what we need. And I think it's just, for the large part, <clears throat> people are in a panic. And, you know, people don't make good choices when they're panicked. But, you know, this is my little encouraging uh, message in regards to this whole, whole situation. And, you know, I hope it encourages some people to pick up the Bible more and read this kind of paper instead of, you know, going after the other stuff. Come on. <laughs>